Why do you play tennis? This is something I've asked myself a lot over the course of my life. And to be honest, it doesn't really make sense. Let me explain. I'm pretty sure most of you get into tennis from a young age. Start idolising players you see on TV. You think, that could be me one day. And even though those chances are slim, you obsess over that goal. But why? What's the reason? Because you want to be famous? There's easier ways to get famous than tennis, so that can't be it. But why else do you want to be like the pros on TV? Because they look cool? You wake up and train every day and make sacrifices in your life because you want to look cool. Maybe you thought that once, but there must be a deeper reason now. So it must be the money and the lifestyle, right? But as you get older, you realise the money's only at the very top and the lifestyle's tough. But you've committed to this journey now, so you might as well keep trying to get there. So if your goal is to be the best, and you're not that one person at the top, does that mean that everyone else has failed? That can't be why. But what is it then? Fun was the reason you started, but is it still the reason you play now? Sure, that might be an element of it, but why not just play casually with your friends every now and then? Why do you train, travel and compete to the best of your ability every day, no matter the weather, how bad you feel and everything else that might be going on, you still play? There must be something driving you more than just fun. So you ask yourself again, why are you doing this? You don't know? Maybe step out of yourself and think, why do you do anything? The Earth has been around for 4.5 billion years, and if you're lucky, you might get to experience 90 of them. So, in this limited time that you have on Earth, you choose to play a made-up game for the majority of it. Hit a round, yellow, fluffy object in some arbitrary lines on a random material. When you take away all the packaging, take yourself out of it all, it actually sounds ridiculous. But then it gets a bit overwhelming. You don't know what to think. You start getting confused. And before you know it, you're back on the tennis court and everything goes quiet. Your whole attention goes onto a single point, a single speck on the tennis court, and everything else just fades away. And for that time you spend running around to get that ball back in play one more time than your opponent, nothing else matters. So what is tennis? An escape? I think it's everything and nothing at the same time. I think it's an escape when you need it, a teacher to help you learn about yourself, a rehearsal to prepare you for life, a goal to give you a purpose, a medicine to keep you healthy, a battlefield to make you stronger. Maybe your reason for playing tennis isn't just one thing. Maybe it's a combination of things. Maybe it isn't the same as when you started. Maybe it's changing all the time. And that's okay, because as humans, we're always changing. Tennis is whatever you want, whenever you want. It's always there for you in whatever capacity you want to use it. So let me ask you again. Why do you play tennis?